talk about happy forgings or happy listing that has come in further uh, this morning. And uh, we are joined by the management of happy forgings to talk about the company, Ashish Kurg, managing director at happy forgings, joining you with us this morning. Thank you so much, Ashish, for joining in with us. Congratulations on a good listing for the company as well. And, you know, let's just talk about uh, what you've seen that, you know, in terms of the company, you have seen a substantial growth over the last few years. Could you help us understand in terms of what worked well for the company, what is the growth trend, sustainability, and where do, what is the sustainable trend growth that you're expecting? So I would like to thanks for giving me the opportunity today. I'd like to thank the investors for showing great interest in the company and for the overwhelming response. Uh, with regard to the performance of the company, company is able to perform uh, uh, at a Kagar growth of almost 25% in terms of uh, CAGR year level in terms of a beta. So it's not just the three years performance. If you look at the performance for the last 10 years, uh, it's been very, very stable. And in terms of numbers, uh, we are improving our beta margins uh, and a beta pattern on a quarter on quarter basis because of the machining content in the business. So today we have almost 85% of the revenues coming from complete machine products, not only the forged products, which is the highest amongst the listed peers. And also the value addition in the industrial business and the exports picking up is helping us. Hi Ashish, this is Shishti also joining in. First of all, congratulations on a good listing. But uh, like you were mentioning about your financials, let's scratch that point further on exports because uh, one of the key contributors now is exports because that has seen a substantial jump from uh, contributing around in single digit in FY24. Its contribution has jumped to 13%. What's the outlook on exports from here on and how can we see this contribution uh, increasing in the times ahead? So exports have risen from almost 50 crores in FI21 to almost 300 crores this financial year. So it's almost grown 6x and it was 3.7% last year and H1 we have clocked almost 21% as direct exports. So I think uh, we'll be closing at almost 20% direct exports this year and going forward we are looking between 27 to 28% going forward in the next financial year. So that's how the exports are growing for the company. 60% of the business which is the new business which is there in the pipeline is coming from the exports. So that's the sector which is definitely going to grow for us. Right, you know, uh, also just want to understand, you know, CV segment obviously contributing around 44% of your revenues currently uh, with farm equipment at around 37%. Segment-wise, if you could give us an outlook uh, for the companies, help us understand where do you see that headed. So we have a growth coming in these segments as well. But at the same time, uh, we have industrial segment which is growing for us. So it has grown from 3.7% last financial year to almost 13.7% in H1 of this year. So we are expecting industrial business to stabilize between 18 to 20% going forward. Because of the additional growth which is coming in industrial business, we see CV and farm equipment sector share to reduce. So CV should be range bound between the, uh, 35 to 37%. And similarly, 3 to 4 percent farm makeup and share will also go down. Well, Ashish, talking about your margins, uh, the company has reported healthy margins in the range of 27 to 29 percent over the last two years. Are these sustainable levels, and is there any scope for margin expansion from here on? So, margins will be range bound 28 to 30 percent going forward. So, these are the margins that company has done despite of rise in steel prices. So if we are seeing, we are already seeing softening of steel prices, which will definitely help in a beta margin percentage. In terms of absolute beta per kg as well, company is doing well. And with the, with the exports and industrial sector picking up, uh, it will be definitely range bound 28 to 30 percent going forward. Right, you know, you did just talk about your segment-wise performance, but help us understand um, in terms of the CAPEX as well as expansion plans as well. So all our capex are fungible, so it's not that we are doing a separate capex for industrial vertical. So the capex that we do on our forging lines, the 14,000 ton press line is the second largest line in the country that we have invested last year. And at the same time, we are organi organically adding more capacities. So 70% of the cash accruals are deployed every year in the business. And almost 600 crores of capex is done in the last four years. So going forward as well, we, we plan to deploy 70% of the capex uh, you know, in the business, of the cash flow in the business, and at the same time, the primary fundraising will definitely boost this capex. So going forward, yeah, we are adding forging lines. At the same time, we are adding machining lines, but all the capex is fungible. 
Okay, Ashish, with this, we'll let you go on that. Thank you so much for joining us today on ET Now and wishing you all the best for the future of the company. Definitely a good listing coming in for Happy Forging. And the company is positive too onto the growth outlook where they see the contribution of exports inching higher going ahead. But with this, viewers, it's time to slip into a very short break.